What is up Blender fans, in this tutorial you will learn exactly how to make hard surface casing for your models and pipes to go with it in under 5 minutes. If you end up liking this video make sure to like and subscribe for more, now let's get on with the video. Alright so the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is make the casing, so just quickly before I start I'm going to turn on cavity because it just makes the edges look a little bit nicer. I'm also going to scale it in edit mode on the Y axis a little bit and I'm going to be able to use top two edges with control B. Alright so to actually make the casing what you need is a knife cut so I'm going to hit 3 to go to the side view and hit K to activate the knife tool and you'll see down here we get a bunch of options so the two we want are cut through so you can hit Z to do that and angle constraint which is optional I'm going to turn it on so I'll hit C so now you can click and click to make cuts and I'm just going to go like that and double click on your last cut and hit enter and it will make the cut just like that you can also say use a box cutter if you have it which is a premium uh, modeling add-on for hard surface so if you do a lot of hard surface work I definitely recommend it because it allows you to do cuts really easily like this and then you can just go straight through and as you can see it cut it there so I'm just gonna remove that alright so now what you want to do is going to face select mode and select all of these faces here and now we want to duplicate these and make it a separate object so I'm going to hit shift D and click so that duplicates it and now with it still selected you want to hit P and hit selection so now it's actually separated so now I'll go into edit mode and hit A to select all of it and now you want to add a solidify modifier so go to the modifiers panel hit add modifier and you want to find the solidify and now you can adjust the thickness of it and what you want to check is even thickness so that way the thickness will be even no matter what value we put it at so now you can just play around with that and you can always come back and change this or if you want to edit the geometry you can hit apply uh, you got to be out of edit mode and there you go alright so now I'm going to show you how to make the pipes so just quickly off camera I made two standoffs, uh, they're just basically a cylinder that I extruded and scaled down. Alright so to actually make the pipe the first thing you want to do is hit shift A and add a single vert. So to be able to do that you have to enable the extra objects add-on in your user preferences. Alright, so after you've added that, go into edit mode and make sure you're on vertices select, otherwise you won't be able to see it. So now you want to position it where you want your uh, pipe to start. So I just want it to start at the center here. And alright, it's in place. So now I'm going to hit 7 to go to the top view and I'm going to hit E to extrude and hit X. Alright, so now I'm going to extrude it on the Y and match it up over there holding control to snap alright so what you want to do now is select the two vertices and hit control shift B to bevel them just control B won't work because they're vertices and now scroll up your mouse uh, for is normally what you want so now you can visualize the curve there and click so now if you go into object mode you can go whoops, convert to curve and now in the curve panel you'll see under the geometry and bevel tab we have this depth option so you can increase that to what you need so I'm just going to increase it up there and I'm going to right click shade it smooth and the last thing I'm going to do is hit control 2 on the keyboard to add a subdivision surface modifier and there we go Thanks for watching everyone, be sure to like, subscribe and comment if you found this video helpful, I would love to hear them. If you just want to chill or maybe you want some blender help, feel free to join my discord server, the link is down below and I'll see you in the next video.